Oh, somebody had a good question. How to heal yourself? How do you heal yourself while being stuck in a dysfunctional household? Published in the 21st century by Microlithosaur Just so you can't see your agreement to come in peace Is what makes this a safe place for all of us to breathe It's a really really good question and it's kind of hard to answer Because I wouldn't recommend somebody to go through a healing process Where they are constantly being admitted and, ha and being forced basically to submit To somebody else's authority and their control where they have power over you, they have leverage, and you're probably going to need to give away some form of consent or some power away so that they can give you something in return. And that re reciprocity, that reciprocal exchange is an agreement that you probably don't want to consent to when they have leverage like that. And the problem is you are constantly being bombarded by somebody else's point of view, where, whereby you don't have the ability to separate and individuate your own sense of self from them. Remember, a boundary is a sense of self. So what you need to do is you need to allow yourself to have the space whereby you are not constantly being confronted by somebody else's imposing point of view. So. Something that I found that worked for somebody that I know whom basically found some place that they considered a safe haven. They're like, this place is wonderful. It's in nature. You know, I don't have to worry about thinking about anything else when I'm here. It's an hour drive away. But when I go there, I feel at peace, right? I told them, why don't you go over there and spend the night and what they ended up doing was they pitched a tent and they literally stayed out there with nature and followed through with that to getting to the point where they literally decided to start house sitting after that point and taking care of other people's property potentially even making money at some point but what they did was they distanced themselves from the connections that they have which were jeopardized excuse me, jeopardizing them in their own personal behavior and their own personal safety, their own personal sense of self so that they could start to the healing process without constantly being under threat. You see, the thing is you're in some sort of survival mode whereby your ego, your identity is being conflicted from the true reality of what it is that you are perceiving. You see, information influences behavior and behavior, oh shit, excuse me, information influences perception, perception influences behavior and behavior influences collective society. So this is in some way, somebody is providing information that is false to you and you are constantly conflicted with what the truth is because you're probably being gaslit, you're probably probably being told something that is within a different connotation of the reality of what actually happened. And they are using that against you, right? So what you want to do is, is to allow yourself to begin to find values that you can take as a part of yourself without feeling that sort of self-conflict with your identity, which means you're going to need to very much vie for control in your life. And find ways to control outcomes without being influenced by somebody holding keys over your head. Which is artificially manipulating your mor morality and your reality, right? So you're going to need to identify with things that you find to be true to you. And what is truth in this sense? It is probably starting from a place of progress. Which is the expression of your sense of self or whatever point of views that you are developing so that you can feel that you are understood, right? Again, going back to being seen, all of this probably has something to do with being seen in terms of you actually being healed. So truly expressing yourself so you can be understood is what enables you to begin the healing process when you are mentally and verbally and emotionally abused 
and your sense of self is in conflict with the current version of reality um, or your current version of reality is in conflict with with the actual truth right so it's very important for you to begin this individuation process whereby you are no longer in conflict or in ex constant exposure with the abuser because it's going to alter your perception of reality and therefore alter your behavior and and in essence your environment when you are in this place can very well be greater than willpower right so what you want to do is allow yourself to train your brain and your emotional regulation to slowly but surely one decision at a time one exercise at a time one one provision of a discipline that you are habitually creating some sort of correction for your own internal dialogue to expand within your so mental and social conditioning so that you can be everything that you actually are and the more aligned you are with this the more you're going to gain self-dignity and self-respect i mean i think of the honor and respect are the same thing as in as dignity right but you are going to honor yourself you are going to follow through with the promises that you make for yourself you are going to take care of your mental health you are going to do the right thing by you and not only when not only yourself but when you begin to learn how to do the right thing for you you're gonna by far find ways to give that away as a service and add value to other people too and what's amazing is when you heal these things that are internally a part of you that were once festering and rotting and tearing you apart from the inside, you know the real truth behind that and you have more strength and more of a solid foundation than any normal person would have to then be grounded in and move forward from and operate in sharing those gifts. You have true strength. Because mastering others is strength, but mastering yourself is true power. So you're going to learn how to truly master yourself when others are trying to master you. Gain some self-control. Gain some self-respect. Gain some sort of self-discipline. Individuate yourself. Give yourself space to be able to mature. More maturation through pain, more pain through maturation. And give yourself the chance to rock on and believe in thoughts that you can actually carry as a part of your identity. And the truth will set you free. Continue being well. And keep taking care of the world, okay? I love you.